Hi guys, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about Squarespace title formats. So the role they play in displaying for visitors on your website, but more specifically to us, the importance that they play in Squarespace SEO. So this is a really interesting topic that I think gets overlooked often um, because, you know, if you think about some of the built-in features for SEO that your Squarespace website has, Sometimes people don't even know that this is one of them or things to consider. So you can take a look at my other videos on my channel, like Squarespace SEO 101, which I'll link to up above is a really good place to start. Or I have another video about like some more of my favorite built-in Squarespace SEO features. So check out those videos if you haven't already. But in this video specifically, we're going to be talking about title formats. Okay. So I'm going to be showing you everything using a demo Squarespace website built on the Raleigh 7.0 template, but if you're using 7.1, it's going to be like pretty much the same here. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen. Um, oh, you know, my glasses might be helpful too. Okay. Share screen. Sorry guys. Okay, here we go, here we go. Cool, yeah, so here we've got the back end of Squarespace. You can see I've got my demo website up and running. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, how to get to the title format, okay? So once you're logged in on the back end, you're gonna go to marketing, then SEO, and then you see here down under the search appearance section, this is what we're looking at. We've got the, the SEO title formats. So we can toggle between these three platforms, or three um, options, we've got home, pages and items. And I'm going to go through those with you as well. Um, but basically the reason why we care a lot about um, the Squarespace title formats and stuff for the homepage, the items, collections or whatever, is that once you set this up, it's going to facilitate a really consistent structure for how the website content um, is displayed and how it looks. So when we're talking about website content, obviously that means like the home page, but it means any other type of page on your website. So, you know, if your about page, your services, your online shop, whatever. It also includes things like collections. So blog posts would be a collection, events could be a collection, a gallery could be a collection, um, all of that sort of thing. So we're looking at this, fixing out the title formats because we're gonna see how it displays in your browser tab. So, you know, you can see kind of your browser tab. We've got examples of browser tabs up here. Also how it's going to preview when it shows up in search results. So two things, browser tabs, search results. And then the third one too, is if you share a post onto social media, like for example, if you, you know, share a blog post to your Facebook page or something like that, you're going to see this title format displaying. So it's really important that you understand what these things are and then also what options you might have. So before we dive in too deep, I want to say that Squarespace does have some defaults set up. And in many cases, you might just want to leave the defaults as they are because, you know, they're, they're usually a pretty good start. But there are other cases where it might make more sense to switch things around. And I'm going to show you as we go through the different options. So let's begin by looking at the home page here. Okay? So for our fake website, you can see that under the SEO title format, you, the default that it's going to set is the percentage S and the percentage S stands for like the site title. Okay. So that's automatically going to pull from like whatever you have under the site title section, but you can also add to this and, you know, add a section as well. So here you can see that I added, let's say a bit of text that's, well, you can see it in the preview, custom um, construction projects in the central California coast. Right, so then that's what would display on the home page when you're seeing. Or just using another example from my own website, charlotteohara.ca, you can see that I set it up for this example that it's in the browser tab, it's Charlotte O'Hara, which is a site title, but then I've also added Squarespace SEO expert. So, you know, you could do something similar. Let's say you're John Smith, dash like Seattle wedding photographer or something, you know, so you can kind of play around with it and add a bit more information. And the cool thing that if you want to override just the default um, site title is you can also incorporate keywords in here. So keywords again are going to be really important for search results and how, um, how Google and other search engines are interacting with the content of your website. 
Okay, so those are some of the defaults that you have in a way you might want to override on the home page. Now let's take a look at the pages option. Okay, so here the page, um, the SEO title format that we have here, the default is always going to be percentage P and then dash percentage S. So remember, um, the percentage S is the site title and percentage P is going to be the page title. Okay, so this would be like, for example, the services page on my website, you can see that the page title is services and then, you know, Charlotte O'Hara is the site title, right? So you could do that and, you know, you could even override it again with like adding that extra section to the end. So then you would have, let's say like the page, you know, so let's say um, services, then coastal construction, and then you add that extra bit that carries a few more of the keywords in it. Right. So you can do or play around with it that way. Um, you could also as well, um, you know, switch it. So maybe instead you wanted the site title first and then the page to go. You know, that's another option there for you. So play around with whatever makes the most sense for you. Now let's take a look at the items because this is a good one here, okay? So items, like I mentioned before, this could be like a blog post title, it could be a gallery title, it could be an event or something. So, you know, let's say we're using that photographer example, um, you know, maybe you might have the item could be something like, um, like five tips to prepare for your upcoming photo shoot, right? That could be for a blog post title and then that would how it would be, how it displays and then you'd see the site title after. But you could also do it for an event, like let's say it's gonna be February mini shoots or something, you know, where you have like a group of mini shoots all happening in one location and people can like book a time within that same event day. That's another option to play around with. So again, you might want to keep the default here, but you could also switch things up. You can override it by adding additional content into that um, title format field. It's completely up to you and you can do whatever makes the most sense for you and your brand, your website, your business and stuff. And so one quick thing that I wanted to point out too is that sometimes people will override the default and put the site title first. So instead of saying, um, you know, like services and then your name or like the item title and then the name or something, maybe if you have a bit more brand recognition or you're trying to kind of like, you know, leverage on that, then you might want to switch it around to put the site title first and stuff. However, from a user experience point of view, if you think about the fact that like people often have many different browser tabs open, it can usually be really helpful to put the, you know, the page title or the item collection title, whatever it is first before the site title, just because, you know, if you're scanning through it, you can see a lot more about it. Okay. And one of the things I wanted to point out here is that I also have a Squarespace SEO checklist. It's totally free to download. And if you're watching this video, then I'm going to guess that you're still fairly new to Squarespace SEO, or you want to make sure that you're doing everything properly. So I'm going to link to the Squarespace SEO checklist down below. Again, it's totally free. It's like a one page PDF. It's so helpful. It's literally helped thousands of people. And I wouldn't interrupt the video with it if I didn't think it was going to help you out there. So there you go. There's some more information on how the SEO title formats work on the back end of your Squarespace website. I've given you some insights into like how it displays, how it can show up in different places, why it's important for SEO. So I hope that if you haven't already, take a look at how you are currently set up on your own Squarespace website. And maybe you might need to tweak tweak things around or make some updates, switch some stuff, totally up to you. There's really no right or wrong. It just depends on what makes the most sense for your situation. But if you're going to be doing it, try to get the most out of it, especially from an SEO point of view. So take a look at the other videos that I have here on my YouTube channel or all the other blog posts, video tutorials, guides, resources, so much content over on my website, charlotteohara.ca. And if you like this tutorial, you can like it, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below too, to let me know that you're watching and that you enjoy it. And I hope this is helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.